see. Um, Congressman, that work has not started. I think the president is consulting with people about possible candidates for the IPAP board, but um, there is no setting up an agency before there is a board appointed. Do you know, Will, are there any qualifications to be sitting on the board? Um, yes. The statute lays out a series of um, areas of expertise, which the PAC uh, board members currently have, uh, health care providers, health economists, um, consumer advocates, uh, people uh, experienced with health finance. I think a key difference between the board qualifications for um, IPAB and the board qualifications for MedPAC are no conflicts of interest if they are to be an appointed member of the Independent Payment Advisory Board. Um, it must be a full-time assignment and not be an active user of the system or um, receive payment from the system. So they will sit on, it will be a full-time job, is that? That's that the correct? way the statute Any is idea what on. salaries would they be paid? I think it's uh, the same as in, I know it's equivalent of, of a federal salary, $160,000, I don't know what it's. Okay, all right. But it's, it's a level that is a federal, I don't know if it's a federal judge or a, I don't really know, I'm sorry. Okay. But I can get you that answer. Could you please um, elaborate on your claim that this year's House passed budget, uh, the, the Republican plan, if fully implemented would make it so cancer patients would die sooner? Um, when a lower quality of care caused by, caused by cutting provider payments in half patients to cause patients to die sooner? Congressman, I think um, I was at a hearing where I was asked what happens if someone runs out of money in a voucher in the midst of a chemotherapy program. Mm -hmm. And I said, frankly, there aren't a lot of options. Charity care is one. Donated care is another or they just stop taking their cancer therapy and would end up... Well, let, me, let me ask this. My, that my was granddad, my answer. Okay, my granddad just passed away, and I've seen the, uh, how Medicare worked for him. The average couple turning 65 today pays, paid over $109,000 into Medicare over their lifetimes, but they will receive over $343,000 in benefits. As a 34-year-old and many others who are not even close to the age of 65... Will I get the same deal? I, I think it depends on what Congress decides to do with Medicare in the future. Could I get the same deal? At, at the current levels, if we would stick with the Democrat plan, if we would stick with doing nothing, could I get the same deal? Well, no one has suggested doing nothing, Congressman. I think that uh, the Affordable Care Act actually took a major step for the first time ever in entitlement reform and gave us tools at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to finally align payment with high quality, lower cost care delivery, and we are trying to accelerate that pace. But what, what I don't understand is, is what the Affordable Health Care Plan did was addressed insurance. No, that's not true. It addresses insurance, but also the care delivery system. It addresses uh, the so, underlying system so in you, addition to insurance. Do you believe that health care costs will start declining? Because currently they're roughly at three times the rate of inflation. Well, actually, they have been on a decline. They are right now running um, lower than inflation. Uh, we think that if, indeed, the strategies are effective where you focus more on preventive care and early intervention where people are actually healthier as they get to be 60 and 70, you can dramatically improve health care costs as well as some care strategies which are aimed at delivering more patient-centered care out of hospital systems, uh, keeping people in their homes longer, which is what patients tell me they want and also what a lot of providers would like to do. But right now the alignment of the payment incentives and the care delivery are not there. Well, I, I think that, you know, with these numbers, if, if $109,000 covers $343,000 in benefits, Americans understand that this is not going to be uh, sustainable over the next... Well, I would agree, and decade. everybody and agrees with it's that. It's going to take some big changes. That's right. So. Thank